is above average. He is Joe Scott. Above average Joe Scott. With uh, I don't know how to the I don't know how he keeps getting getting through the door. The man who supposedly has his own shirt is the candy man. It is uh quite amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, coming back to the ECPW arena, the comic book warrior, Gay Bias. You know, I've, I've been happy to, that I've been seeing that this young man back in recent months. Yeah, he's you know, quite a competitive, colorful character. Now, do you think that that, uh, that potentially the winner of this match Crowd favorite. And ever the beaming light of the light heavyweight division, Timid Tamir did. Who, and, 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 and it may just me be from the outside looking in, but he seems to have a new confidence about him. Well, you know what, he's, um, he's, he's accomplished a lot in a short period of time. He's had opportunities at light heavyweight champion, he's had opportunities at the TV champion, He's had opportunities as the heavyweight champion. And he, with each match he has, like you said, that. Ring the bell! Good job. I ring bell good, yay! Quasimodo, a bell ringer. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna test the referee's worth and the three competitors. Okay, Joe Scott, he can't lift that up. Is it that heavy? Is like a super hero must can only lift it? They, 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 they say that that hammer was forged in the heart of a dying star. Wow. I bet Tamir can lift it up. Well, I guess we're gonna have to see if Tamir is worthy to wield Molnir. Come on. Oh, he got it! Look at Tamir. Tamir is worthy. Is he gonna hit him in the head with it? I I don't know. Uh, Alright, the games are over now. They gotta get down to wrestling here. Oh, oh this we've seen this happen before with Tamir. A slap to the night has showed up. Thanks for him to come into the ECBW uh, TV station. You never know who's gonna show up. Oh, oh, sending Tamir right into the path of the close line delivered by Joe Scott. You know, we said before, these obviously these are all scientific wrestlers and somewhat friends in, in the business, but this is for the light championship opportunity. So friendship's out the window. You know, that, you know, it's, it's, it's always a tricky thing when you're in the ring with a friend, especially if it's a good friend. Sure. Oh. But this business is about wins and losses. It's about championships. And, um, you know, when that bell rings, you got to get in there and win. And then when the bell rings at the end, hopefully you can shake hands. Sometimes you can. Oh, tremendous. Tremendous sunset flip. Joe Scott in for the save. To the corner, Joe Scott missed it. Joe Scott 
dominant man in the match so far. Staying right on top of Tim McMahon. I'd have to say, you know, as far as experience wise, um, Joe Scott's got the most experience in there. But I would say, as far as momentum, I gotta go with Tamir. He's been on such a hot streak as of late. Tamir is quick, agile, and for his size, very deceptively strong. Yes. Tamir again in for the save. Great athletic background with Tamir and, and amateur wrestling. Um, you know, he, as he said, he's going by leaps and bounds each and every match. Fans, make sure you stay tuned at the end of the program and find out where you can see all ECW action coming up in your area. It's great on TV, but being here live, there's such an electric feel in this building. And Tamir is sliding down. Oh, uh -oh. Hey, he's got the legs hooked. Oh, no, oh, oh, it was not it. What a what game bias is a surprise victory here tonight. I mean, I don't know if it was surprising, but I, yeah, on Tamir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. Gary Bias has He's the number one, one contender spot for the light heavyweight title. And look at the end, they're all shaking hands. A good show of sportsmanship. But at the end of the day, Gabe Baez has got the win and he's going to get a light heavyweight title shot. Started this matchup even before it started. He attacked. 
And you know, Guapo's got to know better and not turn your back on your opponent. There's, there's a difference between being an, an aggressive competitor and a dirty competitor. Well, yeah, you know, but the thing is this, is that when you go in there, even though you're not in the ring, you must keep your eyes on your opponent at all times. And right now, Guapo's paying for it. And, and absolutely, ring awareness is like, it's like almost day one yeah. when, when you're in the learning process. You need to know where you are and where your opponent is at all times. Of course. Guapo trying to knock an offense in retaliation, trying to fight back. But Grant's just staying on top of him. Grant's trying to go for the Irish whip, but Guapo is just too big and hanging on tight. That's a big splash. That's a big anything. Wow. Big but, yeah, I tell you what though, Guapo is feeling the effects on that knee. Which is a smart thing, you take the big man's knee out. No matter how, uh, foot on the ropes. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that's that ring awareness that we were talking about. Yeah, you gotta give, you know, with Brock's credit, he's, he knows where he is in that ring. I just don't know what to expect when he comes out. I guess that's the unpredictability of of blocks. And they're hanging the crowd here firmly in the corner of Waffle's Rock. And Waffle with these heavy kicks. Oh! And you talked about agility, he's such a big man, you know? Yeah. His, back, his background in, in Taekwondo and submission grappling, I mean, you know, the, don't judge your book by its cover. When you look at him, you don't think of that, but he is quite, quite an athlete. Coming all shapes and sizes. You know, like, like, you know, like, 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 like again, how we were talking about Tamir in the previous match. Sure. He is deceptively strong. Sure. Rafa is deceptively agile. You, you don't expect it, and that throws a lot of his opponents off. And if you are a competitor in the ring, uh -oh. oh, wait, no. uh, don't think it's a uh, Oh, right on that knee. Just manages to yank Adam out from under him. Oh, he's lucky, man. Guapo would have uh, probably got picked in the wind if he hit him with that move. Without a doubt. Is Guapo getting a kick out there. The referee checking on Guapo. That was a pretty, pretty firm knee to the jaw right there. Guapo's in a lot of, a lot of pain here. He's got, he's got to get up in the uh, Mount some offense, or this is going to be over. Oh, he's got that leg lock firmly applied. Oh my God, that's, that's tremendous pressure on the knee right there, ladies and gentlemen. The Guapo has no choice. He's got to get to that rope to break it. Than this. I don't know if he is. I, I think Blocks is not. Maybe he's not confident in his own wrestling ability. He has got to resort to these type of tactics. Well, right now he is still young. He's still in his first year. You know, still in his, you know, in, in the early stages of his like football. Oh, big, big kick there by by Blocks. Well, but, but yes, you know that 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 could be a firm possibility. Sure, he might not be. He so he's. Taking those two shots, do they get a shortcut? Um, as his confidence builds, maybe we'll see a different wrestling style from him. Well, well, watch this, watch this. Oh, what's he got in his hand? What is that? It, it, it looked like it was a big chain. It is a chain. Oh, he just won't blow them. The referee turned his back. Oh, that's despicable. That's despicable! You should be ashamed! You know what they say, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Well, I think Vlox is uh, taking up on that model. We'd like to say uh, hello to uh, Joey G watching at home. Hopefully he's feeling better. And we look forward to seeing you back at the next TV taping, Joey. Joey's such a great guy. One of the pillars. 
He looks like he has uh, trouble in a precarious uh, situation here. A bizarre reversal of a nickel twister there. champion, former tag team champion with his father. Um, now he's got his tight set opportunity for the TV title. other several times. They know each other very well and they need to be creative in how to outmaneuver someone that they know. Yeah, I mean, you know, they work out together in the, in the gym, they train together at the training facility. They know each other really well. Um, they've been on the road together, they've had matches in the past, so we expect to, you know, from, from the beginning bell, this should be a pretty hot match. But, well, the bell signal to start this main event contest tonight. I we show respect on both competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a treat. Step your seats in, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one hell of a wrestling matchup. And uh, these guys, are, I expect to put on a clinic for us. You know, as far as experience, a slight edge of experience for Junior Flow, uh, speed, Junior Flow, power, leverage, Trey Felipe, and he's got the champion's event. You have to beat him. Yes. But I'd say uh, very closely, evenly matched competitors. Both of them. And let's not forget that they both have a very similar mood set. And that being in the ring with someone who is basically your mirror, you know, it, it's a tremendous back and forth that we can expect. Yeah. And right there, there's that size and power advantage. Incredible frog. Oh, Felipe. Nice drag. Beautiful off drag. Right back. Of arm drags. Felipe hanging on one step ahead. Into the rope. Knock on the Garada. These guys are extremely fast. It is hard to call this action, ladies and gentlemen. But it's great to watch it. Well, this is, oh, beautiful. Spinning neck figure. Will this be over early? Kick out of one. Yeah, you, you know, 
Jay Felipe has been the champ for quite some time, defending that belt against all comers. And uh, as you can see tonight, you know, he's got his hands full with Junior Pro. We talked about, you know, earlier, we saw in last week's taping, uh, Mega Marcos, how he wants his shot at the title, and he believes he deserves that. Well, you know, that's for the matchmakers to decide. Oh, you as the competitor, the best you can do is just do the best you can do in the ring and go do, out and do, win, do, win, do. Win, you win your matches and there'll be no doubt. So that's how you earn your spot in this company. And there's a little bit of a show of power there by Trey Felipe. Felipe is you're seeing moves, ladies and gentlemen, you won't see anywhere else. These two are very innovative when it comes to wrestling style and offensive maneuvers. So, and we're already seeing both competitors altering the way that they operate in the ring because they know each other so well. They have to set each other up. Of course. They have to something new, right? You know, if that person knows you so well, you got to keep that one thing in your holster. That one maneuver that they've never seen before. Felipe with, with a couple of tremendous maneuvers on the other front of the first. Now he's got that weird show from Rock in. Oh, he's, he's got the arm wrapped up too. He's trying to cut off as many escape routes as he can. Now he's going to ground it a little bit, maybe try to um, you know, minimize some of the speed and agility uh, advantage for Junior Flow. You gotta have a game plan when you get in there. And they, they and like you said, they know each other great. Big jawbreaker right there. But if you can pull something out of your hat, something new. Maybe you've been working on something and nobody knows about it. This is the time. Kick out at two. Now now this is a great opportunity for, for, for Junior Pro. He himself has not held a title since almost what, 2021 when he lost the tag team title? I believe so, yeah. They, um, he's got an opportunity tonight though. No, no. He's got that move. Now he's going to make his comeback. In the floor. Felipe maybe took a little too long to decide what he was going to do. He did. Wow, oh, look at that. Those educated feet there. Now, do you throw up top? What are we going to see? Big strong. The big strong. Oh, damn that. How did Anthony Marcos is out here? What's he doing? No. Why is he in there? This shouldn't be happening. Why is he doing this? He's, he, he's, he's in there framing again, but that's his time. What is, you know, this is a great matchup, a treat for not only the fans, but for us to call, and he's got to come out here and stick his nose in this business. You know, and, 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 and he's standing there so proud of himself, too. Uh-oh. What's he doing? Fighting out of that driver. Oh! This yeah. Oh, Marcus to the outside. Ejected out of the ring. I mean, that was totally unintentional there. It's about a miscommunication. Believe it. Oh, and the Fosbury flop right out of the ring. I think, you know, Marcos is laughing. I think he, he thinks he stuck this whole thing up. He's happy with himself. Look at that grin on his face. I got a That's all right. We won't even do it. We're good? Yeah, we're good.
Macy's goes up for it. I'll take both of you on. And you'll shut your teeth for me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>